One of the things that's important to kind of understand as we go about our lives as Catholics is understanding what it means to be Catholic. And it means to live in the world according to the whole of all things. And God is the creator of the world who resides within his church. And he acts through his church, through his holy word, and through the sacramental life. This is how we learn that we're truly serving the living God as Christians. And one of the interesting things I've come to notice is people who dislike the Catholic Church and their problems with it are usually the same problems those in the church have with it. It may be the sins of the church's past, maybe hypocrisy, or just sins in general. But they fail to see what a good holy Catholic sees, that they come to church for Jesus, for God. This is the object on the mind of a good, holy Catholic who seeks to follow Christ. Their mind is not on other people's sins or these things of the world, but their mind is on God. And this is the great stumbling block of most people not entering into the church or Catholics who don't practice. Their mind is on some other thing other than their own faults and failures, no need for Jesus Sometimes people are more worried about other people's sins than their own. And this is a grave disorder in their pursuit of virtue and holiness. When someone does these things, they pervert the truth. And they usually avoid their own need to change in certain areas of their life or own virtues they need to pursue. Now, the church exists by God's divine power to be this real saving vehicle for those who seek to follow Christ, those who seek to serve God and not mammon or money. For many people will charge the church for her riches because of their own grip and avarice or greed, forgetting or being ignorant of the fact that the church is one of the largest charitable organizations in the world. Yes, even the poor can be in the grip of greed, where they worship money in their mind, thinking it will solve all their problems. Or sometimes it's those who are lazy and do not want to work, who are envious, who have this kind of hatred toward others because of the things they have or may have worked for. These are those who are poor in spiritual things, where they lack the pursuit of virtue and holiness. For God usually gives us everything we need in this life to work out our salvation. But how we live is up to us and our choices. But all in all, when we come to the most holy mass and the object in our mind is not the living God who we seek, we will never get what we want out of it. Because God created the church to be an encounter with himself through his word and the Holy Eucharist which is enough for any person who seeks God and not riches.